Yeah, it's just uh, something we try to add to the service where the club does a good job with the player development and the competitive aspect of things in tournaments and leagues and games and firmly believe all the players are playing in the right places to be seen by coaches but there's a little bit of uh, filling in between the lines to go on about how to contact college coaches, how to recognise the responses you're getting back from college coach, you know, what is a professional reply and what is genuine interest in recruiting you as a soccer player and you know, what's a realistic timeline the coaches should be asking for information and what kind of information and uh, you know, just trying to educate families a bit more in the process. It can vary by division. Um, I would say typically with our kids, the U17 year um, would be the identification year. They'd be identified by a coach, they'd be going back and forth by emails, possibly some phone calls, they'd be uh, in invitation to ID camps, there will be visits to the campus to tour, look into the academics of the school, meet with the coach face to face, and it's more of an, an ongoing process. You know, coaches have big lists of players that they look at, and you know, even at the standard D3 school, our players will be in there with pools of 50 to 100 kids, and as time goes by, that will be narrowed down to a more realistic support list, and we need to be aware of you know, when our kids are likely to be in that, or when maybe they need to look to another school to get a better soccer scenario. start the process by joining the club to be honest with you I mean you know to, to be playing the game year round to be doing the practice sessions and the games and the tournaments is the foundation of it all because you are a soccer player um, at, at the club level and then as far as the college goes you can't just wait to see what colleges come to you you have to think about what you want academically where you want to go to school what you're looking for in a campus how big do you want the school to be and then when you've made those decisions start contacting coaches from those schools and then the ideal scenario is they come watch you at a tournament play for the Phoenix and the wheels are set in motion and then things are an ongoing process from there in terms of conversations that have you, with a, you have with a coach, where your uh, grades are and where your test scores are with relation to the school you want to go to, how many players a coach is looking for, or how high you are on that list, your level of interest in his school and all kinds of moving pieces as the months go by. College, um, in terms of where you're going to live your life and go to work every day for four years so I think soccer only is a superficial way to look at things you have to think of the environment you're going to be happy in um, what you need to do to get the career you want after school what kind of classes you need to be doing and you'll find if that foundation's in place you'll be a better soccer player and you'll, you'll probably feel better about yourself and you'll enjoy your college experience more.